Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome if you are a returning subscriber. Hey. Okay, so I did a little neutral. Okay, it's not neutral. I did a, I did a little sultry look using the Wahala 2 palette. I know a lot of you wanted me to use the more warmer side of the palette. So I went ahead and I did that. And this is what that looks like. The video is up on my Instagram. If you haven't yet seen it, definitely go check it out. So also on my lips, I'm going to be using the Proper Beauty Lippy. And this is the shade Made It. I did a swatch video of all their lippies on here. I will link it down below so you can check it out just in case you haven't yet seen it. And of course, they're having a sale. You know, everybody's having a sale. Definitely go ahead and check that out. I haven't actually worn an orangey shade like this. Now, whenever I swatch it, I really loved the shade. Also, you can use my code OHIMA, a proper beauty, so you can get a discount at checkout. When I did my swatching and throwing away all my foundation videos, you guys absolutely loved it. And I'm absolutely happy that I did it too, because I was able to get rid of all the foundations that were not working up, that were not working out for me, because I ended up doing a look with a few of those foundations that I threw out. My face was entirely too bright. It just was not a good mesh. It just wasn't meshing, if you know what I mean. Okay. So I knew I needed to go ahead and declutter those foundations. Okay. I am going to be swatching and throwing away all of my concealers that don't work for me because I have a ton of them, okay? To me, this is a lot of concealers. I know there are people that have more than this, but this is a lot to me, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into these in no particular order. And also, some of these foundations are old. They're probably as old as, I wanna say two years, definitely over 12 months, okay? So if I'm throwing it away, it's only because it is old or the shade doesn't work for me, okay? Let's go ahead and start out with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic. I have all the shades, but these are the ones that are in my drawer. These two shades are gonna go because this is shade six and number eight. They are entirely too bright for my skin tone. They're not gonna work, so I'm definitely gonna be taking them out. And this is the shade number three. So I have concealers that I use to prime my eyes, and I also have concealers that I use on my face. Now these two, are the kind of shade that I would use on my face, okay? These are the shade number three and number four. They are perfectly beautiful to balance out my I Am Magic foundation, but they are also perfectly beautiful to balance out any foundation that I use because of the shade and the tone of them. So this is number three and this is number four and this is what they look like next we have the cover girl what is this this is the cover girl true blend undercover concealer these are the new concealers that cover girl came out with not too long ago and we were lucky enough to have cover girl send these to us d900 and that's this concealer okay so this is what d300 looks like on my skin it's too bright so this one definitely has to go. I don't think there'll be an instance where I will use D300 to brighten my under eyes like ever because it will be too bright and it's it's just not going to be a good look, okay? It's just, it's not, no. So next we're gonna swatch the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. These concealers I absolutely adore. I have been using these ever since the day they, they showed up on my doorstep, okay? They are really, really, really good. Okay, I have two cocoa, and then I have ganache, sable, and toffee over here. This is what toffee looks like. Toffee is very, 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 very bright. So I'm definitely going to toss toffee because it's just sitting here. I never use it, and there really is no point of it being in my stash right now, okay? Next, we're gonna swatch the shade sable, no. Next, we're gonna swatch the shade Cocoa. I have two things of Cocoa. One of them is definitely expired, and the other one is newer, but I don't know which one 
is older than the others so so this is Coco and Coco is the one that I usually use it doesn't mean that it's like the right shade I, if I use only a little bit of cocoa it doesn't come off too bright under my eyes but I've definitely had instances where I've used too much and it's come off too bright okay next I'm gonna swatch this shade sable sable is that shade that matches all the other concealers that I sh that I showed you earlier that are more along the lines of what I normally go for okay and then I'm gonna swatch the concealer that is considered my skin tone concealer and that is ganache now what a skin tone concealer is is a concealer that matches very very closely to your skin tone that way if you use it to clean up your brows or you know like hide some spots it doesn't require a lot of blending to make it match into your skin or to blend into your skin and you don't need to do too much to make it look good so here we go this is ganache and like i said ganache is more my skin tone concealer and this is what it looks like i really love this shade i don't use it as often on my brows because it doesn't dry down as matte as the elf concealer does but i do use this on days that i don't want to put a full face of foundation and i'm definitely gonna have to do one of these no makeup makeup looks for you guys because this is really really good for that this is my concealer shade and if I'm feeling daring, I'm gonna start using cocoa to brighten a lot more. But if I want my super, super brightness, then the shade cocoa is what I would go for or sable, okay? So I'm gonna keep three of the Born This Way concealers only because all three, of, all last three shades I can use for several different reasons. But the shade Toffee is tossed. So next we're gonna swatch the e.l.f hydrating camo concealers now these came after the matte concealers and i feel like the matte concealers they set so quickly that I, I would rather just use those for my eyes instead of my face but if you're someone who likes matte on under your eyes then you could definitely check those out i feel like the shades are close enough that if i show you this you're also looking at that okay so we have three of the elf hydrating concealers rich walnut rich cocoa rich ebony from my skin tone i i would keep rich cocoa i mean rich ebony and rich cocoa because i can use these two under my eyes so i'm keeping rich ebony and rich cocoa definitely getting rid of rich walnut because it is too bright next we have the uoma beauty concealers these ones i definitely know that i got them in on launch day so you know this should be expired by now and i actually only have two of these i have the shades t1 and t2 they've always been a little too bright for me so i haven't actually used them okay so here we go this is t2 this is t2 and this is t1 in the black pearl i could possibly use this one but it just blends out a little too bright for me and that really freaks me out because I don't want to finish my skin routine and my concealer is too bright. I don't know, it just doesn't work very well for me, okay? So I'm gonna toss these two. The next one, we've got the Morphe concealers and I bought these concealers whenever the foundations launched. I didn't even know what the concealers looked like. So I'm gonna keep these two and give them another try or maybe not because they're too bright. This is C.5.45 and this is 5.35. So if anything, I'm throwing away the 5.35 and I'm gonna keep the 5.45 because I want to see, I, I want to use it again and see how it works. Yeah, I really don't remember what the Morphe concealers look like. I'm definitely gonna be checking out the video to see what I thought about them, the time when I try them. Next, I have one, okay, so I only have one Laura Mercier concealer and from the looks of it it's going to be too bright it's workable it's almost the shade of cocoa from um from Too Faced um I don't I don't know about this one this is the shade 6w and this is what that looks like I don't know I've, I haven't actually reached for this concealer I feel like it's almost the same shade as the Morphe concealer Oh, the Morphe concealer is definitely a bit red compared to the Laura Mercier one. Well, I should, I'm gonna keep it so I could use it and see what I think about it. 
it's definitely gonna be one of those ones that I say is too bright but you know I'm gonna try it out and see what it looks like and if it doesn't look okay I'm gonna toss it so we have the Colourpop concealers I feel like these are the second launch unless these are the first ones that launch I don't remember but as you can see they are super used and super old and I'm not even gonna bother swatching these for you because you wouldn't be able to buy these anyway. These are no longer, av are they available? I don't know, but I'm gonna toss these because I never actually use the concealers for my face. I generally use the ColourPop matte concealers for my eyes, for my eyeshadow, because they are a matte concealer and they worked very well as matte concealers for eyeshadow, okay? The Makeup Forever concealers. Okay, so here we go. We have the shade 53 and 54. This is 53, this is 54. I'm gonna be keeping both of these. I want to keep both because I really like the formula of this concealer and I want to see it on my newly selected foundations to see how they work. I know for a fact that 53 is going to be too bright for my new foundation shades, so I will definitely be using this sparingly. But if not, then I'm definitely gonna be tossing that one too. Oh, I have 254, so it looks like I'm keeping three. 254 is 153. Okay, so we have the Iconic London concealers. I don't know what happened to these concealers, but I haven't really heard a lot about them since I swatched and reviewed them. So these are the last three shades as you can see. I really don't know the names of these concealers because they're so tiny I cannot see them. This is probably the deepest shade they have. This is probably the second deepest shade they have and this is probably the third deepest shade they have. This one is deep enough for it to be I want to say a skin tone but it's also very deep enough where it could be like a very light bronzer or like a light contour depending on the day this one I want to dump because I really don't know how it's gonna look it doesn't look that bad in person but on camera it has it looks like it has a slightly olivey tone or maybe it's just a little too cool I don't know next we have LA girl concealers now these concealers are very very popular I also kept the gold concealer is this a gold concealer this is a gold concealer I kept the gold concealer is it a gold concealer I keep asking if it's a gold concealer and I'm sure it is so let's see oh yeah I have never ever ever been able to blend out this LA girl pro concealers I love LA girl I love their product I love using their um their gel liners for my looks and like I said I also love their um their makeup remover wipes but I've just never been able to blend out this concealer. I also have a white one from them. I think I was thinking about doing a um, Halloween look with the white concealer. Okay so here we have dark cocoa, we have chestnuts, and we have espresso. And do you see what I mean by the shades being off? Like they're not quite like I don't know what it is about them but they're not good i just i don't know i just cannot blend these concealers out i've tried it on several occasions and i cannot blend them out so i'm th i'm dumping these three you know looking at how this gold concealer is looking i want to keep it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i feel like keeping it it looks so good i feel like i could use it as a highlighter maybe next we have fenty beauty and i have Okay, so I have three Fenty concealers in my concealer drawer. I have the shades of 495, 490, and 480. Realistically, I should be using 490 as my concealer shade based on my new foundation shades because my new foundation shades are deeper they match the deeper parts of my face and my neck so that means i have to use a concealer that kind of balances them out not something that makes it look too dark if you know what i mean it that's a whole science to the whole foundation concealer ratio okay but initially i was using 480 as my concealer shade the last time i used 480 on my face as my concealer shade the look was so bright i didn't know what i was gonna do about it so i'm gonna keep all three again i'm going to be using 490 as my concealer shade and probably put like a few swipes of 480 in the middle just to make it a little bit golden so i'm keeping all three of those shades so we have the milk makeup 
concealers these are the flex concealers i feel like i've never actually found a good shade of the flex concealers i have the shades so this is deep warm and this is cocoa as you can see deep warm is brighter than 495 than 480 so deep warm is gonna have to go okay and i'm going to keep cocoa or cacao cacao i'm gonna keep cacao because it almost closely matches my new concealer shade, okay? I should have counted how much I started, how many concealers I started out with because my sh my concealer shade should be going down, but I feel like I'm I'm keeping all the shades. I don't So first time I tried NARS, I picked up these two mini concealers to try out because I wanted to see what they were all about and this is what those concealers look like. I have the shades cacao and dark coffee of course this is dark coffee and this is cacao looking at what they look like i'm gonna keep the shade cacao and dump dark 40. i also don't remember what i thought about these concealers so yeah so i have the sephora bright concealers i mean you can see that this concealer is going to be too bright for me because whenever i bought it i didn't know what shade i was going to pick so after i tr after i swatched it and used it it was too bright for me so i'm gonna toss this one but i did say i was going i did say i was going to pick up a better match and i never did so next we have the lancome mark complete concealers i'm sure i'm butchering that name i'm also very sure it's the, it's right i don't know um so i have the shade the shades 510 and 550 okay so this is 510 this is 550 i haven't really used it and if i had to pick one i would pick 550 because i could probably blend out my under eyes with 550 so i'm gonna show you guys my absolute these are the concealers that I started out with. These are the concealers that if you ever asked me what drugstore, as in sold in a drugstore brand, concealers that you should try out. These are the ones that I started out with, okay? These are the NYX Photogenic Concealers. I adored this conce these concealers. I have four shades right now but i think a few of them are repeat concealer or repeat shades because i used it so much and it finished so quickly that i needed to get backups for my backups okay so as it stands i have two cappuccinos i have one deep rich and one cacao so these are very fluid concealers very pretty concealers um from the top we have cappuccino and then we have cacao and then we have deep rich originally cappuccino was my shade but if i had to pick one right now it would be deep rich and i would keep cappuccino as a you know a little added brightness kind of feature but i definitely wouldn't be going with cacao because cacao is too bright okay these concealers are old if not i would have i would have kept them and kept using them I don't know if they're still on sale. However, if they are, I will put the links down below. But if you're someone who's a beginner at makeup and you want like a high end almost, and you want like a really good fluid concealer for you to be able to blend out and not make a mistake, I will suggest you pick up this one, the NYX Photogenic HD Concealers and the Juvia's Place I Am Magic concealers or the CoverGirl concealers because these are the ones that are in, oh, and the e.l.f. concealers. These are the ones that are in the drugstore range for a beginner and it would be easy for you to blend out and not make a mistake. I'm gonna toss these. I'm very sad I'm tossing these. I'm so sorry, but I haven't used these in so long. It just would not make any sense for me to keep these. Like, as much as I love them, I can't keep them they're too old <laughs> two concealers left in the box we have the makeup revolution conceal and define concealers this is one of my favorite concealers like i used it so much i took the little control thing out from the tip of it so i can get every last drop of that concealer and i don't know why i never replaced it after it's finished because this is done like this is completely done i can't even get any out of it 
Um, this is what that shade is. This is the shade C16. And C16 is the concealer shade that I would use. Like, C16 was that bit. It worked. It was good. The Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution is another really, really good drugstore concealer if you're considering it. And the last shade I have here is the Huda Beauty High Coverage Creamy Concealer. This is the shade Brownie. Um, this concealer is a matte concealer and it dries very very fast and and i kept the shade brownie which looks to be my exact concealer shade so yeah it's not bad i will put the list of everything i kept down below in the description box so you can see it but let me just tell you which ones i'm keeping i'm keeping the Born This Way concealers, all four of them. I'm keeping Ganache, Sable, and um, Coco. But I have two Coco, that's why it's four. I'm keeping the Elf Camo concealers, the hydrating ones, the shade, the last two shades. I'm keeping the Julius Place I Am Magic concealers. This, these are the shades number three and number four. I am keeping the Huda Beauty concealer. This is the shade Brownie. Um. I also have like a bunch of the e.l.f. Camel concealers, the the matte ones that I use for my eyes, so that's not part of this, this specific video, but I just wanted you to know that I have it. I'm keeping two CoverGirl concealers, and these two are the shade 900. I am keeping these two shades from the Iconic London. I really don't know if I'm going to be using this, but if I do use them, I'm keeping them. Um... I'm keeping the Laura Mercier Concealer. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This is the shade 6W, and I figured I can use this in conjunction with another concealer and, you know, just to help it brighten my face, and that's why I'm keeping it. If I use it and it doesn't go in my favor, I'm going to toss it. I am keeping the Makeup Forever Concealers. These are the shades 53 and 54. I have two 54, so that's why there's three of them. I am keeping the NARS concealers. These are the... I don't even know the name of this specific concealer, but I... Is it the Ultra Radiant? I don't know the, I don't know the names of these concealers, but I got the trial sizes, so I'm keeping the two. Because I don't remember what I thought about them the first time I tried it, I'm going to keep it so I can try it and see what I think about it. I kept one Morphe concealer so I can try it out and see what I think about it. Again, using using it on a different concealer because I, I'm i very sure I didn't like it when I used it on the Morphe, the Morphe foundation because that Morphe foundation just was not it, okay? We're keeping the Fenty Beauty concealers because they are legit. I am keeping and will be using a lot more of the Rare Beauty concealers. I will leave a link down below on my Rare Beauty review so you can see what that looks like. I'm keeping the Lancome concealer because it looks good. <laughs> and I think that is it? Oh no, that's not it. I'm also keeping the Milk Makeup Concealers. I actually also have these Milani concealers, but you know, the video is coming up, so I don't want to spoil it for you guys just yet. Oh my goodness, the Stay Naked Concealers. Okay, so these are the two Stay Naked Concealers that I decided to keep. These two, these are the shades 90WR and 80NN. The video to this the link to this specific video is down below. Definitely check that out. So these two are added. I'm just making sure I don't have any other stragglers over here that I'm missing. Okay, and that is it. So these are the concealers that I'm keeping, if you can see. Okay, and this is what it looks like when I started out. I am happy that I decluttered my concealers because I had a whole lot of them and I end up only using the ones that were on top um but now I feel like I will be able to give everyone in here a chance I do however use a ton of my Juvia's Place concealer I think next I'm going to do my primers no next I'm going to do my mascaras because some of these mascaras were flicking into my eyes and it was not a good look okay thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of the concealers that I just 
showed you guys and swatched for you let me know what shades you use and let me know whether or not you agree with the ones I threw out. Some of them were really, really old. Some were just entirely too bright. That was not going to work for me, okay? Doesn't mean I don't like the brand. It just means the brand, the concealer shade that I kept, I didn't know what I was thinking, and that's why I kept it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.